Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Ali LaForce. Pass to Jokic. Over Gobert. And it's Jokic missing. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter. Then he attacks the glass. It's filthy. Boy, great matchup at the five tonight, Smitty. How do you think the center position has evolved over the last decade? I think shooting by the bigs. The bigs being able to shoot the three. And also, them creating more space leads to better offense and more flow. To the middle. Now here's Gordon. In transition, here come the Jazz. Mitchell misses. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Pass to O'Neal. Now Gobert. The shot, no good. Inside. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Left side, Conley. Now here's Bogdanovich. The three from Mitchell. Martin pulls it in. Pass to Jokic. Beyond the arc. Utah with the rebound. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Back to Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. Three on the clock. No good on the three. One for five out there, but no worries. Just keep attacking. Pass to Barton. Outside Porter. Jokic with it. That one falls. He's now one for three. Down in the paint, Jokic knows how to take charge, getting past the D and to a look. He hails from a small town in Serbia. Jokic played basketball, but also a number of other sports that he credits for his current skill set. Yeah, he says water polo helped with the one-hand passes, and volleyball helped with the tip-ins. And the harness racing, well, who knows? But he was obsessed with it. Pass to Gordon. Left side, Murray. Count it. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Utah leading. Here's Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Conley. O'Neal on the wing. Outside Conley. Five to shoot. Another shot. The shot that time, not on target. Now Denver takes it the other way. And stolen by Gobert. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Porter. Jokic with it. Just five to shoot. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Jokic has gotten his second bucket of the game. Inside the paint, Jokic has that physicality that can make the defense a non-issue. He can just muscle his way for a shot. Back to O'Neal. Pass to Conley. From deep. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. 
The combo guard, Murray, capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. Here's O'Neal. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. The three from Mitchell. Buries it from three. Three points. Mitchell's got six points. And that was a little payback for what happened on the other end. Mitchell showing the range. Murray shot is good. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Pass to Bogdanovich. From deep, Conley. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. And here is Porter. Now Jokic. Defended by Gobert. Outside for Porter. Six to shoot. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, explosive move. Sometimes Murray doesn't get enough credit for his athleticism. Now here's Conley. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Jokic grabs the board. Outside Murray. Sinks another one. He's on a roll. Starting four for four. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And the number 45 that Donovan Mitchell wears, it's a tribute to Michael Jordan. MJ Ward for most of his high school days, while he played baseball, and for a short while in the NBA. Now a timeout called by Denver. And you talk about that 45 that Jordan wore playing baseball. Well, Mitchell also very connected to that sport. His father played professionally and works in the majors currently. Yeah, and baseball, B.A. was Donovan's sport growing up. But a broken wrist his sophomore year in high school after a collision at the plate steered his path toward hoops. Free throw is good for Mitchell. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. That shot is good by Campazzo. They have no answer defensively inside. And here's Mitchell. Pass to O'Neal. Bogdanovich up top. Back to Mitchell. Picked it out of midair. Here's Bull. To the paint. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. That's his first personal. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell says he's fueled by it, but you know it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean both super athletic combo guards. Mitchell at this point is a better outside shooter. Wade a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade, but Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. White side. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. 
play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Now here's Whiteside. And here we go. The Nuggets on the fast break. Oh, there's the alley. Gay with the ball. Pass to Clarkson. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Oni. Shot to stop the run. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. Jazz ball. Here's Ingles. Clock at two. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Denver basketball. And here's Denver. Ten point lead. One forty three left in the first quarter of the game. From deep. It doesn't go for him. And Utah will come the other way. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. That's good. One free throw coming his way. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far from Denver? Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, find the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Pass to Dozier. One sixteen left to play in the first. Now here's Green, defended by Gay. Shot from twelve. Utah. That missed aside, they're off to a strong start at the offensive end. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Here's Clarkson. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. On the wing, Rivers. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And there's the drive. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And missed free throws have been a problem for them early. Here's Campazzo. The Nuggets need to get one up. Here's Rivers. And so the first quarter is in the books. Nuggets ahead, leading by six. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Nuggets here in this one? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. Down low. And it's hammered home by Greaves. <laughs> and the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Denver in the lead. to Dozier. Here's Bull. Defended by Whiteside. Nuggets and it's ball. out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. Nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. Here's Rivers. Drains the triple. Rivers has oh, got his first three points of the game. Not a pure shooter in the classic That's sense, right but Rivers is a threat That's out there if you give him any room. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, Brian. Well, we know this about Jamal Murray. He 
is not shy of letting that thing go. He said, quote, anyone that knows me knows this. I'm going to take the last shot. I've Persona always believed that, envisioned that, dreamed that, and practiced that, and I'm going to make it. Guys, there's no denying that confidence. Well, it serves him well, right, Alec? Thanks for that. Pass to bowl. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Here's Whiteside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Whiteside's gotten four this quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here's Rivers. Going inside. The rebound by the Jazz. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Utah trailing here. Here's Clarkson. Pass to Gay. The leaner inside. And there's another one for the Jazz. It was a rough start with them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Here's Dozier. Going for the oop here. Bowl, no good. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. And that one's good. Green. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. And it's Clarkson missing. It seemed like he changed his mind during the layup, tried to pull off another shot, and choked. Stolen by Whiteside. In transition, here come the Jazz. Bowl grabs the board. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Bowl. Sinks that one from the post. And it's a nine-point nugget lead. And the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed Jordan during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, in more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. But I did a pretty good job. And that one's good. Jeff Green. Green. Green's got eight. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Clarkson, right side. Bowl grabs the board. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Back to Campazzo. There's the three. Oh, Denver gets it back. Great positioning on the putback. And the Nuggets lead by 11. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Here's Rivers. Pass to Green. Here's Bull. There's the triple. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket at eight tries. You like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. To end the run. It's tipped. Back come the Nuggets on the run. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Outside, Ingles. Second shot opportunity. And that one drops. Timeout, timeout. Have to.
to take Love care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now a timeout called by Denver. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Now Murray. Give him eight. To the inside. Here's Gordon. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And it's Clarkson missing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. And Jokic throws it down. And we know he can pass the ball. But wow, what a great finisher as well. Jokic delivering when his team needs him. And he knocks down the first one. Second team foul. Both free throws good from Gay. And here are the Nuggets. And as a leader, Murray is vocal. Talks to his teammates up and down the floor, and he pushes everyone, and they tend to follow. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. Assisted by. Acrobatic move by Donovan Mitchell. Lifting off the floor for a slam. And here's Porter outside. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And Murray's vocal to the opposition as well. He's used to the trash talking. I mean, he loves to challenge people. I mean, does it cross the line at times? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. Gay. Gay. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Gay's got eight points in the quarter. Over the years, Rudy Gay has added a lot of bulk to his frame. You see it right there off contact. Clock at six. Pass to Jokic. Fires from deep. The rebound by the Jazz. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Boy, that foul looks intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense given the situation. Pure from three-point range. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Mitchell. Nuggets ball. And here's Denver. A 12-point game. Now here's Murray. Give him eight. And he lobs it up to the rim. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. The three from Mitchell. Offensive board. Gobert, no good. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Murray, no good. And the Jazz with possession here. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Gobert. Down low. And that one's good. Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell's got seven now in this quarter. High percentage looks are easy money for Donovan Mitchell. He's got a great touch from the inside. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they have executed. Back to Conley. The three is up. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Conley's got six points. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Gordon. Forty-one seconds left to play in the second quarter. He's off on the layup. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. 
pass to Barton. Jokic with it. Defended by Gobert. Shoots from the right block. Here's Jokic. And Gobert with a block. This is why shooters always have an eye out for Rudy. And if you don't, this could be the result. The drive by Mitchell. Mitchell. Willing passers. Unselfish play. Boy, you have to appreciate this kind of offense. From deep, Jokic. He drops it from range. Jokic has got five points in the quarter. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a big man with versatility. Jokic is showing that he's such a threat from any range. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Utah trailing here. Here's Mitchell. Oh, no foul. stopping him there. Jams it in. And he's fouled. An opportunity in a three-point play. It's on Nikola Jokic. That free throw is good for Mitchell. And after 14 years in the NBA, Mike Conley finally an all-star in 2021. And he richly deserved it. A three-time Joe Dumars trophy winner for sportsmanship, like yours truly. I mean, he does it the right way. From deep, Conley. Outside Murray. Here's Jokic. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. That one on Mitchell. Defensive foul. And I think when you say Mike Conley All-Star, now foul. it's official. <laughs> yeah, you're right, B.A. I mean, because we talk about the respect he has around this league. He's always been viewed in that light. A key part to that grit and grind era there in Memphis. And now he's writing a superb second act. What you love about Donovan Mitchell, not only does he explode into his moves, he finishes with authority. From outside the arc. Jokic, not going to go that time. And Utah the other way now. Here's Mitchell. Lays it up and banks it in. Mitchell's got 26. Three out of four coming out of the half. Showing good execution on the offensive end. Utah And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's a big man down there. I mean, when Jokic gets ideal positioning inside, he uses his size to draw contact. Nikola Jokic. Two shots. And Jokic drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. And Mitchell with the slam. A dynamic offensive talent. Mitchell is especially intelligent at knowing how to get to his spots and execute. Here's Jokic. And Gobert with a block. Mitchell into the lane. Three-pointer O'Neal. That one falls. Nice setup Three. by Mitchell. O'Neal's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And stolen by Gobert. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. I really like Donovan Mitchell's composure out there, leading this team by example. And the Utah Jazz with three All-Stars last season. But Grant, safe to say that Rudy Gobert is their most important player when it comes to winning games. You know, B.A., I think so. I agree. I mean, Donovan Mitchell is terrific. Definitely a star. But you factor Gobert's impact at both ends of the floor. He might just be the most important player on that team. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his fifth, That's his fifth foul. foul. Utah with the ball. Pass to Mitchell. Uses the glass on the layup. Mitchell's got 14 points here in the second half. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Jokic. Count the basket! 
picks one up. Such a powerfully built man. I mean, Jokic seems to just foul. brush off the Point foul from the opposition. Jokic. That's his second. The free throw drops for Jokic. On offense, here's Utah. They trail by one. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. Always on the attack. Mitchell loves to drive it to the hoop. Put the pressure on the D. On the wing, Barton. And here's Murray. He's got 10. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. We've seen Murray raise his game. Part of it is an increase in toughness. The ability to score when it's not simple. Mitchell double team from deep Conley rebound by the Nuggets pass to Porter Jokic in the post fires for three Porter gets the bucket and now a four point Denver lead and I don't think we've really seen many seven footers who can pass like Jokic so calm and easy with the ball and almost always makes the right decision. Now here's Barton. And here's Jokic. Defended by Gobert. And you love to see the aggressiveness using the height advantage to hammer it home. Here's Mitchell. Fires the three. He can't hit that time. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Murray from outside. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. You have to watch Murray closely at the perimeter. He won't hesitate to flex his range. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Here's Jokic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jokic has got 14 points now in the second half. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive especially all the turnovers they've caused. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please, that's terrible. And now a timeout called by Denver. And the wrist injury for Boyan Bogdanovich set him back a little in recent seasons. Remember, he had surgery in 2020 and slowly returning to form now. And he makes them better. I mean, great skill level with size, a floor spacer who can also create his own shot off the bounce. Gets them both. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. Clarkson attacking. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. First free throw is good. He does not get the second one. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. And he makes a first. At the line. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Utah trailing here. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. 
Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we can do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. I like how he absorbed contact. Rudy Gay with the body control to finish through it. Here's Campazzo. Outside, green. Here's Bowl. Here's Dozier. Tipped! Unlikely scenario. Joe Ingles times it perfectly. Comes up with the rare rejection. Pass to Whiteside. Stolen by Ingles. Inside. Gay. Gay. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. Yeah, I really like their game plan offensively coming out of the half. They've been efficient and effective, but they're still chasing the lead. Outside for Green. Off target from outside. Clarkson with the ball. Three-pointer. Here's Whiteside. And another shot. And it's good on the layup. Whiteside's got eight points. Are you serious? Whiteside doing major damage on the offensive glass. Here's Campazzo. Pass to Green. Driving in. Tries again. Here's Bowl. Left side, Green. Just five on the clock. To the paint. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Oh, a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Here's Gay. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second free The guy who's always had the tools to get to the line more. Gay aggressive that time. Both shots good from the strike. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter. Here's Campazzo. Pass to Dozier. Here's Bull. Defended by Whiteside. From eight feet. Bull, no good. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. And that one's good. Clarkson. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. One minute left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Bow. Rebound, Utah. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Pass to Oni. Back to Gay. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. Gay's got 18 points. To the middle. Here's Bowl. Green in the post. Jeff Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. And out of bounds. Out the of bounds. Nuggets will take it. Denver ball. Denver basketball. Seventeen seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Campazzo. Once again, the disruptive defense of Whiteside. Staying active, staying connected. It's been all about Nikola Jokic for the... Arkansas.
Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Here's Rivers. And the ball out of play. The Jazz will have it. Now Clarkson drives to the hoop. Oh, Green with a block. And it's going to be out of bounds with the Jazz retaining possession. Here's Honey. Back to Whiteside. Second chance effort. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's hard to intimidate Whiteside because he's using the guy on the end to the intimidating. And he sinks the second. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Here's Campazzo. Outside, green. Back to Campazzo. Pass to green. Shot clock at five. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. Utah ball. That's just being out of sync and at the worst time, costly. Clarkson outside to tie it up. Here's Whiteside. And Whiteside gets the double team. He got a piece of it. Pass to Bowl. No luck on that one. So Utah will take it the other way. Here's Clarkson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Jets. Jordan Clarkson. Takes it. And the next one could tie it up. And it's tied up with that one. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Here's Rivers. And he converts the layup. I mean, he's extremely confident and aggressive. Rivers loves to take it up inside. And it's Whiteside with a big finish. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. to take the lead. Bull grabs the board. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. To the paint. Green. Utah foul. Jordan Clarkson. That's his first personal foul. And the first one at the line is first good. Team foul. At the line for Denver. Jeff Green. Good on both. Utah trailing here. Clarkson outside. Outside, Ingles. Inside. Here's Whiteside. Bowl grabs the board. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. A pretty good defender. Gay using that 7-3 wingspan. Well, get that shot out of here. Here's Whiteside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Shooting for Utah. Hassan Whiteside. That free throw misses. A big group substitution here for Utah. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Denver in the lead. To the inside. Pass to Rivers. Outside, Green. With the drive. And Whiteside with the block. 
Be careful. White side is the ultimate rim protector. Jazz substitution. Rudy Gobert. Outside, green. Down low. And he jams it home with authority. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rims. Dude, he risks pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Just another example of losing concentration. His fourth turnover the evening. He has to start protecting the ball better. To the inside. The lob. Very well done. Now it's a six-point Denver lead. Just a perfect pass. And some pretty slick body control on the finish, too. Man, that's butter. Love the decision by Gobert. Finding the open teammate. Playing smart basketball. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Double team on Mitchell. Here's O'Neal. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. That's his second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Bogdanovich from long range. The shot misses. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. If they just continue to dominate the boards. Now here's Bogdanovich. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. Well, he started out as a pure shooter. Bogdanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher. No good on the quick three. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results and a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Outside Bogdanovich. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here are the Nuggets with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Off target from three-point range. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. He's off on the first. Timeout called the Nuggets. They've committed enough fouls to be in the penalty already. Not good. They really need to concentrate on playing strong defense without getting too physical. What time is it? It's time for teachers. just reviewing the plan with his team. He complimented the three-point shooting. He said, quote, it's one thing to get the look, it's another to bury it. I believe in you guys. I think you've got this game on lock. Let's go out there and let's take this, guys. And they're running. Nuggets for the finish. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. He'll go on Michael Porter. Look at Bogdanovich getting physical. Works hard to get the shot off and the foul. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Pass to O'Neal. And here's Conley. Launches a three. Here's Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Great D that time from Porter. From deep three-point range. The long-distance three is Perry. And the 
Nuggets lead by 14. Martin with a steal. And here we go. The Nuggets on the fast break. Murray from outside. That one drops. And it comes off an assist from Porter. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Here's Mitchell. Plenty of space. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Murray with it. He's picked up by Conley. And then Porter with the dunk. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Three points. Mitchell's got 46. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. And Martin gets it to go. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. Pass to Gobert. From deep. Donovan and Mitchell. again, it's Utah with a three. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. And here's Barton outside. And the three-pointer goes. Barton's got five points in the quarter. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Puts up a three. Denver grabs the miss. The three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Back to Bogdanovich. Hits a three-pointer. Got to be up on Bogdanovich. When you aren't, he catches and fires away. From deep, Barton. Let's it go from deep. The shot comes out. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. Three-pointer O'Neal. The kick out to Conlon. Hits the trifecta. Give Conley credit. He's recognized the need to become a knockdown shooter and put in the work. And the basket by Jokic. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Huh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. From deep, Barton. They get it again. 4-3. Sends it home from three-point land. And the Nuggets lead by 14. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Nuggets. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. Pass to Porter. This one to three. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there Once all night. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. From second-round pick to an absolute star, Jokic can burn you in many ways offensively. Pass to Bogdanovich. And here's Conley. Fires the three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Three-pointer. And Barton is good for three. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily.